Brian, you've done a lot of work in classrooms around the world, really, demonstrating activities for developing mental computation strategies. Are there any particular questions that are effective? Oh, yes, there certainly are. Most of all, we want to get the kids thinking about their own thinking. Mm. So I always start with the question, how did you figure that out? It's very similar to the one I use. I just say, you know, uh, how do you know? How do you know? You know, but it, it is a, it's a very tough question because for some children, if they haven't had that type of questioning from an early age, if I all of a sudden have to start working with some 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, they generally just say, you know, to, to answer the question, how do you know? How do you figure it out? They just say, I just knew it. Well, you mentioned they might be 10 or 11-year-olds. That's a bit tricky because it may be they haven't had prior learning in mm. being asked to figure it. We can still get it with those kids, but we need to go about it in certain ways. But it's really essential that we can get them to think about their thinking and explain their thinking. Mm. And so what I want them to do is initially talk in small groups and explain how they're thinking and eventually come to the front of the class, take on the role of the teacher and explain their thinking to the rest of the class. But you're right about that reluctance so mm. I've got a couple of techniques that yeah, I well, use for that. That's definitely on my mind. How do you get over that hurdle? You know? well, one thing I always try to do, and I know teachers would do this probably instinctively, is make sure when you're initially starting to ask questions about how did you figure it out, choose the strongest, most articulate models you can get. The kids you know yeah. like to get up the front, yeah. like to explain, and are articulate enough to be able to do it. And another thing I often do is I sometimes lower the level of difficulty of the question. Mm. Because if you don't, you're actually asking the child to solve, to do two things at once. Find, solve some very difficult mathematics.